Hello guys, Croft is here. After watching Prometheus and Alien Covenant, there is no doubt that David hates humans and engineers. But we never really learned why he has so much hatred for both species. In this video, I'm gonna explain David's god complex and why he hates humans. In fact, there is an interview with Fassbender and Ridley Scott that reveals the reasons why he hates us, his motivations, and how he basically went insane over the years in space. The interview actually gave a sort of a new look on David's psychology and what was going on in his head. So, let's start with how David's personality was formed. In a couple of minutes after activation, David realizes that he's superior to Peter and yet will have to serve him. That creates a contradiction in David's mind and plants the idea that Wayland is quote-unquote a false god because he's inferior to David in literally every aspect. There is actually a deleted part of a dialogue when David says they are false gods. Referring to the story of gods described in the piano piece The Entrance of Gods into Valhalla. Maybe Ridley removed this part of a dialogue because it would be too obvious for the audience that David is thinking about Wayland when saying they are false gods. On the top of that, David was the first model, which may be the reason why he starts to malfunction right after the activation and wishes death to his human creator. I also think that David was programmed in such a way that he could not disobey Wayland. That was one of the core parts of his software that the android couldn't get around. So David secretly wanted Peter to die in order to become free. Shaw even asks him what would happen when Wayland dies. David responds, I suppose I will be free. In the additional material interview, David expresses gratitude to those who created him, which may be another reason he doesn't go rogue when Wayland is alive. He may be genuinely thankful for creating him. It's also important to note that after leaving Earth, David did not have any maintenance or diagnostic procedures. As Fassbender and Ridley explained in the interview, after being alone on the Prometheus ship for two years, David developed more human characteristics, partially because of isolation. Fassbender said that in some extra scenes before the expedition, he was trying to portray David more like a machine, but once he arrived to LV-223, he had more human traits. Also, at the beginning of Prometheus, you can notice that David moves in a very robotic manner, but by the end of the movie, his gestures and posture are more similar to a human. Um, prologue to this film, David, his posture and the way he moves, it's, it's more accentuated as a robot at the, at the beginning. As it goes on, he starts to take more human sort of attitudes with his body. Another interesting detail that I found is that in Prometheus, David is extremely curious, but making experiments on Charlie Holloway wasn't his original idea. In fact, right before adding some black goo to Charlie's glass, David talked to Wayland in cryosleep, and as we know from dialogue with Wickers, Wayland told David to try harder. This can be interpreted in many ways, but I think that Wayland told him to find out what is the black goo and probably directly ordered to experiment on the crew. I don't think anyone would be surprised if Wayland gave this order because he literally considers himself a god. In the promotional material, there is an emphasis on the fact that androids can execute tasks that humans may find unethical. So that's exactly the case with David poisoning Charlie. It's true that David took the urn before talking to Peter, but we can't tell for sure for what purpose to study it or figure out how it works. But it's very explicit that David poisons Charlie right after talking to Wayland. 
But I don't think that Wayland specifically ordered to experiment on Charlie, it could have been anyone. However, David chose Dr. Holloway because he said multiple times that David is not an equal footing to humans, but just a machine meant to serve them. David obviously didn't like these statements, and that's why he chose to experiment on Charlie. All that to say that Wayland himself initially allowed David to experiment on human crew, which led to Charlie's death. That made a huge shift in David's mind, in addition to the fact that he hated Wayland but had to obey him. After Wayland's order to experiment on the crew, David learned to see all humans as test subjects, so that's why he kills Shaw and other crew members of the Covenant ship. However, David has more reasons to hate humans and engineers. In the interview before the Prometheus expedition, he is asked what makes you sad, and he responds, poverty, war, and unnecessary violence. What makes you sad? War, poverty, cruelty, unnecessary violence. Later, David learns that humans are violent species based on how they treat each other and how they treat him, as an inferior. He also observes that engineers are just as violent as humans, which is a reason to hate them. That's why in Alien Covenant, David says that they are leaving the Earth forever to start all over again, but I'm not gonna let them. He realizes that humans are destroying their home planet because they're violent by nature, and he wants to stop them. But there's much more about David's hatred towards humans and engineers. Both position themselves as gods. Engineers because they created life on Earth, and humans because they created David. But he thinks they're not worthy to be gods because of their hostility. As Fassbender and Ridley said in the interview, isolation didn't have a positive effect on David. Therefore, after spending 10 years on the paradise alone, David quote-unquote went insane. The thought of being superior to humans and the fact that they're violent species led him to the conclusion that he is the next missionary, which is what he directly implies in Alien Covenant. David pretty much convinced himself that he is a godlike figure because he managed to create neomorphs and xenomorphs. Another cool moment in Alien Covenant is when David makes a mistake about the author of the poem Ozymandias. When Walter points this out to him, David realizes that he made a mistake for the first time in his life. That pretty much proves that David has serious problems with his software after so many years without maintenance. It starts with small details like that in the memory, but I think it means it's gonna get worse in the next Alien movie. In overall, the oppression of David's personality and potential and the violent nature of both species led him to the conclusion that he is a superior being. So that's my take on how David ended up hating humans and engineers, let me know guys what you think about this. If you really want to support my channel, you can check out this t-shirt that I designed, link in the description. And that's it for today guys, my name is Croft, like the video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe to my channel for more content.